It's time for the Don Crow Show, right here from the WAVAFM Passport Auto Group Studios. Now, the Don Crow Show. The Don Crow Show is brought to you in part by Passport Auto Group Stores. As an essential business during COVID-19, Passport is ready to meet your car buying or servicing needs and do it with complete safety and security from one of their nine convenient locations. Whether it's a video walkthrough of a vehicle you're interested in or purchasing a vehicle either online or in the comfort and safety of your own home, check out the superb services waiting for you at PassportAuto.com. That's PassportAuto.com. Hello there, folks. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Don Crow Show. Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 each afternoon, we get together, talk about things going on. I call them matters that matter, issues of significance that you and I need to get informed and learn something about. But then, having gotten informed, let's get involved. Find positive, life-affirming ways to make a difference. Culture ever needs us. It's now. I got to tell you, folks, one of the personal privileges of my life in ministry has been an opportunity a number of years ago now to meet and work with a truly great man of God, a man who's been impacting the nations of Africa and the entire world for nearly 50 years now. And as a matter of fact, he is the man who first introduced me to the continent of Africa personally. I'm speaking of Pastor Dr. William Kumuyi. He is founder and general superintendent of Deeper Life Bible Church Worldwide, one of the largest, fastest-growing churches in the world. His ministry began 48 years ago with only 15 members, but has now literally grown into millions of members, virtually all continents of the world, being touched by the gospel. And more to the point of this visit, This Thursday, August 26th through August 31st, he will be ministering at a global crusade that is going to reach all around the world. Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, what an honor and delight to have you on the show again, my friend. How are you? Thank you, Don. Nice uh, talking together again. It's a delight to hear your voice. It's been so many years since we've actually seen each other face to face, but your imprint has been left on my life and certainly those of so many others around the world. And I understand that you just recently celebrated your 80th birthday. Congratulations on that. And what has God been doing in these years that have brought you up to this point? Thank you very much. As you know, when uh, we work together, I got converted to the Lord Jesus Christ and I had a definite experience of salvation on the 5th of April, 1964. And since that time, the Lord has laid a burden on my heart that what I am coming to, that is the salvation of the Lord through grace, that I should share that also with other people. And as you know, we started the Bible study. At my flat at that time, I was a lecturer at the University of Lagos. We started with just about 15 people. And by the grace of God now, uh, the Lord has used that small seat and we have expanded and uh, touched many countries in Africa. And actually, all the five continents of uh, we have taught five continents of the world. Uh, we have uh, local congregations. We have ministry studying Bible, so they have a good connection with them. And at this time now, the Lord has uh, painted the vision very clear and very plain on my heart that we should uh, have this, what we refer to as the global uh, crusade. We started in April of this year, then we did another one in June, another one in July, and we were able to connect with uh, many countries all over the world. We received from them, they received from us. It was a real breakthrough. And uh, the one we're having this August now is from the 26th of August to the 31st of August. We're having it in the city, uh, one of the cities in uh, Nigeria, that's uh, Enugum, in the southern part, southeast of our country. And we're all prepared, and we want to use this to reach out to uh, so many people. And uh, the grace of the Lord has been uh, quite uh, enormous, and the Lord has kept me uh, sound and healthy. At uh, 80, 
Um, I think um, I am still like I'm 55 or 60 in strength, in ability, in health, in everything. And I believe that uh, as the Lord gives me more years, uh, you and I can still work together to touch the rest of the world together. Amen to that. And uh, I understand also a, a very gifted and well-loved, really world-renowned musician is going to be with you in this ministry. Don Moen is known here in the United States, of course, but across the world. I understand he's going to be part of the crusade with you for music. Is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, Don Moen is going to be a musician along with me every night uh, from the 26th to the 31st of August. Uh, we've uh, connected together. He's uh, giving his word. In fact, he's, uh, you know, preparing now to uh, make sure that uh, he's, uh, you know, available to minister along uh, for those days of the crusade. Talk, if you would, about what you see this doing around the world. And by the way, folks, you can access this crusade by going to dlcm.org dlcm.org. That will get you into the crusade. You can see it. But, Pastor, talk about what do you see this having as an impact? Well, I believe that this is um, going to, again, we tell the story of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, my concern is if um, a a high-profile figure dies uh, today, uh, within one week, the rest of the world has known about it. And the Lord Jesus Christ died for us, for the whole of humanity, and for all people in every country, in, the, in all the continents all over the world. He died 2,000 years ago, and um, majority, the majority of the world has not known about his death. And those who know about the prayer and resurrection, they do not know the purpose why he died, but he died for us all so as to save us from our sin and to show the love of God to us and to bring the grace of God into our lives so that as we turn away from our past and we turn unto him as our Savior, we'll be saved, we'll be forgiven. And just like that, just to have the information and to hear the good news and to hear the gospel, will link us with eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. So the purpose of the crusade is to tell as many as possible and to connect with as many as possible all over the world that Jesus died, he was buried, he rose again for our justification. And as we believe on him, we have eternal life. And it doesn't matter our color, our race, and uh, our background, any country, anywhere, as we hear, we believe on the Lord and we're saved. And of course, Jesus also in the same yesterday, today, and forever. In his uh, earthly ministry, he went about being good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And um, we believe that that power is still active and is performing miracles today. But you remember when I came to Washington, I think it was 2001. Uh, the time we first came together, I was holding a meeting, a moderate crusade or weekend meeting or revival in Washington. And there was a this woman that had the husband having cancer and the son having leukemia, cancer of the blood. And she was taking care of them in the hospital. She came Saturday of that meeting, if you remember, mm-hmm. and then um, raised up the clothes of the of uh, the man, of the husband and the uh, son, and would pray. She got back to the hospital, to the private room where they gave them at the hospital, and um, the, by the following day, Sunday, she got to the room of the boy. The boy, the boy was already out, and the man, the husband, the man was already in the kitchen helping to wash plates. The Lord healed them miraculously. And the Lord is still doing the same thing today. I remember we were in uh, Minnesota, and we were having a weekend uh, revival crusade um, in uh, Minnesota. We are talking about the love of God. And by the grace of God, one of the nurses invited, brought somebody from the hospital. I think they brought her, a Korean woman, on in a stretcher. And uh, brought with um, 
uh, an ambulance. And by the time we saw the final evening, the pile of God touched her, and uh, she got up and uh, was crying, was putting the tears of joy, saying, I've never been in church, I've never read the Bible. Why did, how could God do this? And we've seen the miracle working power of God touch many lives all over the world in different parts of the world. Um, we were in Moscow. I was uh, having a meeting, and uh, Mrs. Sinan was there with me in Moscow. And uh, she himself, Sinan, saw the woman. She had been paralyzed for 25 years. And with her, legs with that, she couldn't move at all, except somebody carried her. And after prayer, she got up after 25 years paralysis, and the Lord did a mighty wonder. We got back to Moscow four months after, when I was giving that testimony at the beginning of my message, and the woman rose up and came to the platform and said, I am the woman you are talking about. God healed me. And Vincent Sinan, uh, you know, was there with us on stage that day. After that, I had gone to the northern part of Ukraine. There was this man at the final level of cancer, uh, completely impotent, couldn't do anything. I'd been uh, prosecuting the wife uh, before, but uh, the wife eventually brought her into uh, that uh, crusade. After prayer, that man was taught by the supernatural power of God, and he got up, and uh, the Lord uh, healed him. And uh, for days after, the healing was real and definite and started doing some physical work and all that. What I'm saying is God is at work. And uh, it's not only doing it here in Africa, it's doing it all over the world. We want people to connect so that this same power will touch their lives yes. and solve problems and bring solutions to problems everywhere. Amen to that. And in this last moment, encourage folks who are listening to not only tune in, but how can they help? They can pray, right, for the crusade. Thank you very much. Uh, they can pray for the crusade. They can uh, link up with their friends and invite people uh, on media, social media, and uh, people having problems. And then we all have faith in God. We're doing it together, you and I, they and us, everyone. We're joining hands together to bring the name, the grace, the love, and the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to everyone. Praying together, linking up with uh, people together so that we can celebrate the grace of God in the lives of people as the Lord will touch many people, shape many people, heal many people, deliver all that will connect. My dear friend, I hope the next trip that I do make to Africa, I'll get to see you. And in the meantime, if you come this way, you have a standing invitation to be right here on the show with me. But it is so great to talk with you, and thank you for spending these moments with us. Thank you very much. God bless. Dr. William Kumuyi, founder and general superintendent of one of the largest ministries in the world. I had the high honor of actually being with him back in 2001. In fact, it's out of that trip in 2001 that he mentioned that I first met him when he was here in 2001. But we need to take a break right now. 